We're here today to maiden the FMS Futura Futura V3. This is the Tomahawk licensed EDF, 6S EDF, with flaps and retracts. And I love that retract door up on the front steerable nose wheel. This is a beautiful looking jet. And I had a good time putting it together. It really went together pretty quickly. I'll be honest, I'm a little nervous for this maiden. Now, it is recommended. Only one size battery is recommended for this jet, a 6S 4000 milliamp. And I think they set a minimum of 35C, I believe. So today on the maiden flight, we're gonna keep things a little bit tame. I just wanna make sure everything is trimmed up perfectly because I am going to rely a bit on their reflex flight stabilization software in the jet. Basically their version of safe. And I don't do that very often, especially on a maiden. So I just wanna make sure that's going to go smoothly today. Hopefully it does go smoothly. And then shortly after on our channel, We'll have a follow-up video or multiple videos of me waking it up a bit more. So today's Maiden, just so you have a bit of a heads up, is I'm planning on it being fairly tame, like what <laughs> most normal people do. Uh, but we'll see, there might be a snap roll by the end of it. So <laughs> fingers crossed it goes well. Let's put this in the air and have some fun. FMS is very capable of making some insanely good looking stuff. I think that's where they shine, honestly. Even their ground vehicles, the detail is just above the rest of the pack. And this jet looks amazing. Now, they're also very capable of making some great flying stuff too. The pits that they have, the FMS pits is just amazing. And so uh, I'm starting to give a little more attention to FMS stuff lately. And uh, hopefully this one goes well. I am nervous because it's such a pretty jet, but I'm also excited. So the adrenaline's pumping, a little bit of Mountain Dew in the blood. Let's go. Oh yeah, that's nice. Oh, it sounds good too. Okay, once, once you get that first about 10 seconds in the air, you know about 75% of what you need to know usually. <laughs> We're gonna put the landing gear up on this pass. There it goes, doors up. Try to get a shot of that on the ground if this thing lives. <laughs> it does feel like there's just a little bit of climb in there, which for a flight stabilization, it really shouldn't be doing that, but could just be me. Uh, Made in flights, flight. you always go pretty high and far well, on I jets. Do go, I do go definitely far. So it's definitely got climb. You guys, that's center stick. I don't know why that's climbing so much, but I can push down on the elevator and correct it for now. I also want to try um, turning the flight stabilization off and seeing if it needs any trim. Man, what a beautiful jet. Actually, now it is flying level, so okay. I'm, I'm happy. Maybe, it, maybe when it's up on the throttle it climbs some, I don't know. It's flying level though. You'll, flying level you'll get like hundreds of flights on this if you well, we'll see. are successful. So there, stabilization's off. And we're gonna roll it up there. Nice roll rate. Oh yeah, I didn't plan on doing any of this in today's video. <laughs> it is probably gonna be a very short video. You're at two minutes, 40 seconds. Yeah, I don't wanna push it too far because I just don't know what my flight time's gonna look like. I haven't even done a full throttle pass yet. And I think we're gonna try right here, Abby, full throttle. Okay. Oh my, wow. And we're gonna climb and then snap it up at the top. Really? Oh my god! Wow! Wow! Thing looks like a wow. spaceship. Wow! Wow! That was insane. Recover! Oh my yeah. goodness! Wow. Where are you going? <laughs> I'm good, but like, wow! I wasn't expecting that much yeah. snap. <laughs> There's wow. two minutes. This is gonna be super high performance. Oh my goodness! I think I said two minutes earlier, but I meant one minute okay, and good. some odd seconds. Okay, thank you. Sorry, That's here okay. at two minutes. This thing's nuts. Let's go for a loop out here. Just a nice simple loop. I like the way it sounds to you guys. It's probably been hard to hear over me and the way we have our mic set up, but it sounds awesome. Oh, it looks good. It just looks like a Formula right. One race car mixed with Tron. I'm gonna get something. your retracks down soon. Okay. Well, that sounds so cool. Okay, for a little assistance, I am turning flight stabilization on for this landing, being a maiden being so fast and we're gonna put that landing gear down and make sure it's down i think we might land it abby <clears throat> left to right 
Okay. Really? I see the landing gear. Okay. okay. You're at three minutes. And honestly, I'd probably be better off without the flight stabilization on because I just feel like it has a touch of climb, but right now there is no climb. So I don't know. I think I might've got that trimmed up. I'm new to the reflex system. I'm really going to use up some runway here because this thing is capable of going really fast. Luckily it's bright red and I can see that thing <laughs> from miles away. And the orientation of this is awesome too. There's zero throttle way down there. Just, wow, it's just coming in hot. Yeah. But I got to have a little throttle to make sure we get up to us. Oh, I am almost on the back part of it. Oh, oh. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. You were landing that right like here. a tail dragger. You know what? Yeah, I don't know. I was, I, I knew I was. There's no wheel back there. Well, the butt. No, I knew I was actually, that's how you kind of want to land a lot of times, but oh, I knew I was close to the grass. And so what I tried to do at that last second was get it a little closer to us. Uh, well, so, you got it down. It's uh, in one it's piece. Down. It's down. Next time I think I'm going to go no stabilization on the landing. <laughs> I just feel like I had a little more control over it. Maybe you should have drank a little bit more Mountain Dew at 8 a.m. <laughs> I cannot tell you guys how nervous he's been for this one. I always know he's nervous when he gets a new plane and he waits to take it out of the box for a couple weeks. <laughs> that means he's nervous. <laughs> yeah. He did it. Here, check this out while you've got the camera that way. Okay. See if I can hold it well and show you the retracts closer. Oh, we're doing retracts. Yeah, let's okay. turn off the stabilization. There. Okay, retracts. Here we go. Okay. Oh, I love that door up Yeah, there. I do too. Oh, one more time. Okay. <laughs> and guys, when we were home and I was putting this together, this light on the bottom oh, yeah. is really bright. It's crazy. It's bright. And so night flying, that's going to let you see the runway really well. Yeah, it was really cool. And the nav lights, how they're blinking, they just look super real and awesome. And you know, I, just, you just plugged, I plugged all the stuff in and it worked. Shut the up. lights were already, like you don't need an extra channel mm -hmm. for the lights. However they set it up was awesome. Uh, because you did not need an extra channel for those lights and sometimes you do oh that snap was crazy wasn't it i hope to do a few more of those on future flights what a maiden i told you at the beginning because i was nervous i had planned to just kind of putt it around like a trainer because i wanted to test the flight stabilization and stuff but it works it really works i did everything <laughs> why do, sometimes uh I don't, i've been doing this stuff for a while but you just cross your fingers on maiden flights, especially on things that are so well, pretty. As you said, you usually know within like 10, 15 seconds what it's gonna be like. Oh so yeah, once those wheels- You always say stuff like that, like, oh, I'm just gonna putz it around when you're just nervous and yeah. not sure. Yeah, because then I have a fallback, right? right? And yeah, it's like, well, an it's excuse, a main it's a main it's flight, a, yeah. A, so I just wanted to putz it around, but once, I, once it feels good, <laughs> once you know you're locked in, it's like, okay, I can do this throttle to the pedal you know and this this gets it this is really fun i imagine i'm gonna have a good time let's knock on wood fingers crossed i hope this makes it through the year 2023 let's go because this is a very exciting jet to own going into 2023 i imagine it's going to get a lot of stick time this spring and summer especially i love it as a great maiden flight i am really happy with reflex it's probably not as good as safe uh seemed a little overly sensitive a uh, little kind of like overreacting to certain wind gusts and things, but but really not bad. So it's linked below. We'll have our US link. So anyone that's in the US, we just uh, appreciate you using that link. If you're not in the US and you wanna support us, we'll have a second link below that where you can pick this up. Both of those links do help to support our channel and our family and we're very grateful for it. And uh, man, this is just, <laughs> this is a lot of fun. I'll say a massive thanks to God for getting us out here on this beautiful day in January. Uh, bright blue skies. I am just, this is amazing. For whatever day you guys see this on our month. <laughs> yeah, but, but for now, for us, for now, it's in January. Uh, <laughs> and we're having a great time. Baby boy's on the way, so we're trying to get a couple videos ahead if possible. When Amelia was born, we were only three days ahead on videos. Really crazy. Um, and that was our maternity leave. Three days. <laughs> From a C-section. Yeah. I'll never live that down. Horrible, it's crazy. Um, anyway, I want to say a massive thanks to God for just everything in our lives. Good, bad, uh, RC, and life in general. And a huge thanks to our Patreon supporters. Guys, I want to encourage you. This would be a great time to consider signing up for Patreon. We have a lot of benefits, uh, even from $5 
and up. You get RC Sailor stickers, which we love sending out to people. They look amazing on planes. They up the cool factor by 10 at least. <laughs> and uh, on the higher tiers, uh, you, there's even a possibility of texting me on a regular basis. If you want to text about RC stuff or Legos or video games or your favorite cereal, that's an option. And uh, we've got a couple slots open for that. So. I'd love to invite you to check that out. It's a really great way to support our channel. Flying something like this, especially on a maiden flight, and as nervous as I was, you know, I just, I felt, I felt the frog in my throat. It was just like, <laughs> I don't know. For some reason, this one, I felt oh, like, <laughs> uh, you know, you're a little third grader and you're getting ready to go on stage and sing in front of all the parents and stuff. I was nervous, <laughs> right? I was nervous. I wanted it to go well and, and it did. That was a really fun maiden. Uh, as, and you know, if I had 20 minutes of airtime, we'd be doing some crazy stuff, but short flight time just to stay on the safe side. Anytime I made in something like this, like crazy exciting, you know, I made in a trainer plane and to me, it's like I want to remind the beginners out there, like, hey, hey beginners, you should, you should have AMA. <laughs> I don't really get too nervous with it, even though I crashed a beginner plane not too long ago because of a bad servo. You just never know if it's going to be your fault or, or a mechanical failure or something like that. So that's why it's good to have AMA. Even if you're the most confident, best pilot in the world, I assure you that pilot has AMA. This is the stuff that can do a lot of damage. Yeah, this one could do a little a little more damage than those trainer planes. It's so fast. We ought to do a speed test on this eventually. Oh yeah. Um, so anyway, I encourage you to have the Academy Model Aeronautics, the AMA, and we'll link that in the description box below. Now, if you guys are into fast, awesome EDF jets, we'll have one of our favorite jet videos popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.